calculating Chromebox Alpha in SPSS and Excel to determine the reliability of multiple choice question exam paper using ANOVA table. Compax Alpha in Excel measures the internal consistency of items and score consistency. The Alpha is calculated to determine the reliability of multiple choice question exam paper using ANOVA table. Here in this data sheet in Excel, this data is a dichotomous data taken from an exam result for 10 students answering 15 multiple choice questions. And the score for each question is reported as 0 or 1. 0 mean, means wrong. Answer 1 means correct answer. So these data are dichotomous, binary, as there is only two options, correct or wrong answer. And to determine whether the exam paper is reliable, we can calculate the Chromebox Alpha. And to calculate the Chromebox, Chromebox Alpha, click on data and if you don't have the icon for the data uh, you can generate that through the options in the file and then select the data analysis icon click on data analysis a uh, window will appear and we are going to use the analysis tool of ANOVA ANOVA two factor without replication and if I click on OK another window will appear and we're going to select the input range and to select the input range I'm going to highlight the range of the data I want to calculate the ANOVA for it so uh, we're going to leave the alpha as 0.05 and then I'm going to generate the output in a cell as highlighted here, selecting this. And then if I click on OK, uh, two tables are generated in Excel. The first table shows the count, the sum, the average, and the variance for row 1 to 10 and column 1 to column number 15. We are interested in the second table, which is the ANOVA table. And the two important figures we are interested in is this figure, the means square for the rows and the means and the errors. And if I'm going just to highlight this in red. To calculate the Chromebox Alpha, use the following way. In this cell, I'm going to type alpha and then next to it I'm going to insert equal sign and then number one minus the error divided by the rows, the mean square, the mean square for error divided by rows and then hitting the enter key. A uh, Chromebox Alpha of 0.91 is generated. This figure indicates that the test or the exam paper is 91% reliable. So this table here, small tables, shows the range for the Chromebox Alpha and the reliability. Any value for the alpha greater or equal to or greater than 0.9, then the reliability is excellent. A value of 0.8 to 0.89 
indicates a good reliability. A value of 0 0.7 to 0 0.79 is acceptable reliability. And uh, Crompat's alpha uh, value of 0 0.6 to 0 0.69 uh, indicates questionable reliability. And the value of 0 0.5 to 0.59 is uh, considered to be a poor reliability and anything with a value of uh, uh, less than 0.5 for alpha is considered to be an unacceptable exam or test, i.e. unreliable. So this is the way, one of the way to calculate the Cronbach alpha and determine the reliability of an exam paper sorting it out either as extremely reliable and excellent uh, reliability or an unacceptable unreliable exam. Cronbach's alpha in SPSS is one of the statistical method that can be used to measure the internal consistency of items or score consistency. Cronbach's alpha value can be calculated to determine the reliability of multiple choice question exam paper. The value for the Cronbach's alpha range from 0 to 1. 0 means that the exam or the test is unreliable and 1 means that the exam uh, paper is extremely reliable. Here in SPSS data view I have data taken from exam result for 10 students answering 15 multiple choice question and the score for each question is recorded as either 0 or 1. 0 means wrong answer, 1 means correct answer. So the data here we have is a dichotomous data, i.e. binary data. There is just only two options, either right or wrong, 0 or 1. To determine and find out whether the exam is reliable, we need to calculate the Cronbach's alpha. And to do that, click on Analyze, scroll down to Scale, and then select Reliability Analysis. Click on it. In this new window, we're going to select all the variables, all the questions from 1 to 15. Select A and then drag them and place them in the items box and for the model we are going to use the alpha the Cronbach's alpha in the statistic section or icon a new window will if we click on it a new window will appear and we are going to select the scale from the descriptive scale if item is deleted and I will shortly uh, describe the benefit of uh, choosing this option. In addition to that, I'm on going also to select the F test. And if I click on continue, then on OK, the uh, SPSS will generate an output with few tables on it. The first table summarize the case. So we have here 10 students and the second table is the important table as the SPSS package has calculated the Cronbach's alpha and it was found to be equal to 0.91 so or 91%. So what does this value mean? This means that the test or the exam is 91% reliable. So any value for the Cronbach's alpha 
equal to 0.9 or greater is considered to be an extremely reliable exam and anything close to zero it mean or it means unreliable so for this exam the reliability is very very high and the test is consistent and excellent in the third table here is very interesting table uh, it shows each question question number one to question number 15 and in the third column here uh, it shows corrected item for total correlation and then the next to it chrome bats alpha i uh, if item is deleted so what does that mean if question number one is deleted the chrome backs alpha will increase from 0.90 or 0.91 to 0.92 so this table shows that deleting question number one will increase the reliability uh, value or the chrome backs alpha to test this we're going to do repeat the same analysis but in this case we are going to deselect question number one so if we deselect question number one and repeat the same analysis and click ok again we can see here we have exactly the same student number but the questions or the number of the items has decreased from 15 in the above it was 15 questions uh, decreased into 14 as one of the item or the question has been removed from the analysis and looking at the chrome backs alpha value it increased to 0.92 from a previous value of 0.92 one so deleting question number one has improved the reliability and increased the chrome backs alpha so this is one of the way to calculate the reliability uh, value and chrome backs alpha in SPSS if we go back again to the same set of uh, variables 15 questions and 10 students if we looked at, look at this table that is labeled ANOVA again in this ANOVA we can calculate or I can calculate the chrome backs alpha the important values to look at is the mean square the mean square between individuals and the residual the residual is the error so to calculate chrome backs alpha from this table we're going to use a calculator so in this calculator i'm going to use this equation one minus move this to the right here one minus the value of the error residual 0 0.153 0 0.153 and then divide that by 1.65 1.65 so we're going to use the mean square for people and the mean or the means square for error dividing the residual uh, by the um, between for the mean square of both and if we click on equal a value is generated which is 0 0.905 or 0 0.907 uh, which is similar to the one calculated by SPSS in this table here so we have here now two approaches to calculate the chrome patch alpha that automatically generated by the SPSS or indirectly through using the ANOVA table here to work out the 
Chromebacks Alpha. So this is the way to determine and calculate the Chromebacks Alpha in SPSS and to evaluate an exam paper uh, that contains only multiple choice questions and to determine whether this exam is reliable or not based on the value obtained from the statistical analysis.